Yarny friends, I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome to my crochet channel, or welcome back. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to make the Christina's Panda Hat. This is a fun beanie hat to make, and I designed this about nine years ago for my daughter-in-law, whose name is Christina. She loves panda bears. Well, she has a daughter of her own now who is nine years old, Zoe, my granddaughter, and she loves pandas also. And so I decided to update the pattern, make a brand new video and a brand new blog with lots of fresh new pictures so that my granddaughter can have a hat that's similar to her mama's hat. Isn't that adorable? Now, I measured my granddaughter's head. Now remember, she's nine. She has the same size head as I do. So this panda hat's going to fit about a 22 to 24 inch head because remember, it's very stretchy. And since it is really stretchy, it'll fit a lot of different sized heads. One thing you can do if it's coming out a little bit too big is go down a hook size or two. And if it's coming out a little bit too small, go up a hook size or two. That's a quick way to make an adjustment on something that's coming out too big or too small. Now you can find that updated pattern with all the pictures on my blog. And as always, I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make the Christina's Panda Hat, you're going to need bulky weight number five or chunky number five yarns. I'm going to be using the I Love This Chunky from Hobby Lobby today. You're going to need about two ounces of white, about two ounces of black, and then about an ounce of pink and gray. Now the striping in the center of the panda hat, you can do those two colors in any colors that you want to. Whatever the person you're making this for maybe has a favorite color, maybe it's red or yellow or whatever, you can do those stripes in whatever colors that you want to. We're just going to use this bright pink and gray for our stripes today. Two ounces of the white, two ounces of the black, and an ounce of each of the two striping colors. And again, those are bulky or chunky number five weight yarns. We're going to be stitching today with our K hook, which is a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then you'll need a needle for sewing on those ears and weaving in your ends. And then of course you'll need a pair of scissors. We'll be starting at the top or the crown of the hat and then working our way down. And then once we finish the hat, we'll add those sweet panda ears. We're going to begin with our white make our slip knot, chain five. We'll join our chain five into a circle. And tie that stay knot. There we go. Now we're going to put our hook in that chain five and chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. And now we're going to stitch 11 more, so we have a total of 12 double crochets. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two loops. Yarn over and go through the second two loops. That's our double crochet. You'll also notice that as I'm stitching my double crochets, I'm stitching over this tail of yarn. That way I can close up that hole in the center of my hat when I'm done. All right, let's see how many I've stitched. Here's our chain three, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, and 12. We chained three and we stitched 11, so that gives us 12 double crochets. We're going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch. And we'll go ahead and chain three. Now, you can wait till the hat's finished to close up this hole, or you can go ahead and do that now. I like to go ahead and get it over with. So I pulled that string. I'm going to put that tail of yarn on my needle and just go ahead and weave that in. Whoops, get back on there. <laughs> All right, so we wanna make sure we go through stitches and fibers of the yarn so that that does not come undone. And you'll notice I've gone back and forth and now I'll just clip that. And now I don't have to come back and do that later. So for row one, we have 12 double crochets. We join to our chain three and chain three. Now for row two, our chain three counts as our first double crochet. And we're going to stitch a double crochet right in that same stitch as that chain three. Now we're going to go into the next double crochet and stitch two double crochets, one and two. And so for row two, we're going to stitch two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. Two double crochets in each of our 12 so for row two, we're going to end up with 24 double crochets. We'll join back to our chain three and chain three. I stitched two double crochets in each of those 12 double crochets, so I have 24 double crochets. I'm going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. All right, so now we'll do row three. We're going to stitch a double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three, and then we'll stitch one double crochet in the next. In the next double crochet, we'll stitch two. One and two, and then one double crochet in the next. And so our repeat for working around row three is two double crochets in the next double crochet and one double crochet in the next. Two and one or one and two. <laughs> two double crochets in the next and one in the next. And we'll repeat this working all the way around for row three. two double crochets in the next double crochet, one double crochet in the next, and repeat all the way around and join back to our chain three. So I continued to stitch two and one, two and one, all the way around. So I have 36 double crochets. We're going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. All right, now we're ready for row four. So again, we're going to double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three. Now we're going to stitch one double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, and then two double crochets in the next. One and two. And so for row four, we're doing two and two. One double crochet in the next two stitches. There's one and two. And then two double crochets in the next. One and two. And that's our repeat for row four. So 
So again, we're repeating one double crochet in the next two stitches, one, two, and then two double crochets in the next, one and two. And we'll continue to repeat this working all the way around and again join back to our chain three. I repeated two and two all the way around, two double crochets in the next, one double crochet in each of the next two, two double crochets in the next, and repeat all the way around. I'm going to join again to the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And for row four, you're going to need to have 48 double crochets. All right, isn't this fun how quickly this is stitching up with this chunky yarn? Let's do row five. So row five is similar to row four. We're going to double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three, only this time we're going to place one double crochet in the next three stitches. So here's two and three. And then we'll place two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two. And this is our repeat for row five. One double crochet in the next three stitches, one, two, and three. And then two double crochets in the next, one and two. And we'll continue to repeat this, again working all the way around, and join back to our chain three. One double crochet in the next three stitches and two double crochets in the next and repeat all the way around. I have completed row five stitching three double crochets, one in each of the next and two in the next all the way around and you're going to have 60 double crochets. We're going to join to our chain three with our slip stitch and chain three. Now for round or row six, we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of those double crochets working all the way around our hat. We're done increasing now. And you'll notice that your hat will begin to curl. That's what we want it to do to start forming the shape of the hat. So one double crochet in each of our double crochets around, then we'll join back to our chain three. I completed row six, stitching one double crochet in each of our stitches around. And now I'm going to change color. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my white yarn and I'm going to bring in my next color, which is my black. There we go. We're going to chain four, three, four. This chain four counts as a double crochet, chain one, and then we'll double crochet in this same stitch as this chain four. And that will give us our first V stitch. We're going to skip the next two stitches and V stitch in the next, which is a double crochet, chain one and double crochet. Then we'll skip the next two stitches and V stitch in the next. Again, that's a double crochet, chain one and double crochet in the same stitch. And this is our repeat for row seven. V stitch in the next stitch, skip the next two stitches, V stitch in the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches and repeat, working all the way around. Now I know this is black yarn, so it's difficult 
to see what I'm doing. All right. <clears throat> the next color we bring in will make it pop because we're going to use the pink next and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to try to hold it here so you can see. V-stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches and V-stitch in the next all the way around. Then we'll join back to this chain three of our beginning chain four. I completed row seven, stitching those V stitches, skipping two stitches in between, and now we're to the end. There's my last two stitches. I'm going to join to the chain three, one, two, three of that V stitch. Then I'm going to slip stitch in that first chain one space. Now you're going to have 20 V stitches. I know the black is hard to see. We're going to bring in our pink now and this will make it pop so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I did not cut off my black yarn because I'll be trailing that up on the inside of the hat so I won't have to weave that in until I'm finished. All right, so we're going to go in this chain one space and chain four. Then we'll double crochet in that chain one space to form our first V stitch. All right, so now get some yarn out here. We're going to go in the next chain one space of the next V stitch and stitch a V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And this is what our repeat will be for row eight. We're going to stitch a V stitch in the chain one spaces of all the V stitches. And now you can see that just a little bit better. one V stitch in each of the chain one spaces of each of the V stitches. And we'll do this working all the way around our hat. I completed row eight, stitching my V stitches in my V stitches. And now you can see it just a little bit better with that brighter yarn. We're going to join to our chain three. We're going to go in the chain one space and stitch a slip stitch. And again, I'm not going to cut my yarn. I'm going to bring in my third color. Actually, this is my fourth color, but the third of my stripes. All right, and now we're just going to repeat what we just did. We'll go in that chain one space chain four, one, two, three, four, double crochet in that same stitch because our chain four counts as a double crochet, chain one, and then we double crocheted. And now we'll just move around the hat the same way we did with the pink yarn and stitch a V stitch in each of the V stitches around. There we go. One V stitch in each of the chain one spaces of each of the V stitches. All the way around and again, join back to our chain three. So I completed row number nine, which is our row of V stitches in gray. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to repeat a row of black, a row of pink, and a row of gray one more time so that we have two sets of black, pink, gray V stitches. All right, so what you're going to do is stitch a row of black, then another row of the pink, then another row of the gray V stitches. So basically, we're just repeating these three rows 
one more time. I completed those three additional rows of V stitches. So now you can see we have two rows of the black, two rows of the pink, and two rows of the gray V stitches. Isn't that pretty? I do want to show you the inside of the hat because what we did by not joining and cutting or not tying off and cutting and trailing our yarns up, I just have two pink, two gray, and two black to weave in instead of having twice that many because we carried our yarn on the inside of the hat. Here's where we completed our join to our chain three, then slip stitch into our chain one space. And now we're going to bring back in our white yarn. And chain one. We're going to single crochet in the next double crochet. And then we'll go to our next set of V-stitch, our next two double crochets of our V-stitch, and stitch a single crochet only in the two double crochets. And so basically what we're doing for this row is stitching one single crochet in each of the double crochets. We're not stitching in that chain one space. Just one single crochet in each of the double crochets of those V stitches. I stitched a single crochet in each of those double crochets all the way around. I'm going to join to my first single crochet with a slip stitch and cut my yarn. And now we're just going to finish with the row with a row <laughs> of single crochets in black. There we go. I pulled the wrong string. So we'll chain one and single crochet Pull that string back down there we go all righty so one single crochet in each of those single crochets all the way around our hat i've completed that last row of single crochet i've tidied up my yarn and it's all ready for the panda ears but I did want to show you that it makes a really cute beanie even without the ears. Isn't that cute? All right, now I already have the two ears made that we're going to add to our panda bear. But, of course, black yarn is really difficult to see. So I'm going to use this gray yarn and show you how to make the ears. And then I'll show you how to attach them to your hat. To make the ears, and again, make sure you make two ears. We're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain four chains. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to stitch nine double crochets in that fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. So our chain three counts as one and we're stitching nine more right in this fourth chain from the hook. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's count and make sure I did enough. Our chain three counts is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have our chain three and nine double crochets. We're going to join to the chain three and chain one. Now we're going to place two single crochets in each of those stitches. And this will give us a nice shaped ear. It'll curve in just a little and it'll sit really nice on our hat. And then remember, make two ears. <laughs> Don't worry about that hole in the middle. We'll fix that as soon as I finish the ear. All 
All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We had 10 double crochets, then we stitched two singles, so we have 20 single crochets. We're going to slip stitch and we're going to tie off, but we want to leave some yarn because we're going to use this tail of yarn to sew it onto our hat. All right, so let's go in that next loop, pull that loop to the back so it looks nice and pretty on the front. And now what we're going to do is close this hole because we don't want a hole in the center. Now, if you prefer to do the magic circle here, you certainly can. Again, do what works best for you. All right, I'm just going to stitch around these stitches. Gather that in and close up that hole. We don't want our bear to have a hole in his ear. <laughs> All right, once we get the hole closed, we'll go back and forth a little bit and weave that in, going through fibers and stitches so we don't have that hole come open on us. All right, and then once you're satisfied that the center of your ear is closed, We'll just cut that yarn. I've already sewn on one of the ears. Here's the other one. We want to place them about the center. One, two, three, fourth row. And make sure they're on similar. And what I do is I lay it like this and I'll make some stitches on the front. Just some whip stitches going through the hat and the ear. All right, that's about four or five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six stitches. And then I'll go through to the back. All right, and I'll do the same thing. Just go through some of the stitches. We're sewing that ear on from the back, going through the stitches on the hat and stitches on the ear. We want to make sure it's going to stay secure. All right, let me take a look at it. Looks pretty even. All righty, so get this needle back on here. Then I'll just go back through and weave that in so that's not going to come out. And then when I'm happy that's on nice and secure, I'll just cut that. And now the panda hat is all finished and ready for my granddaughter to wear. Isn't it adorable? I really love this style because there's no eyes on it. It's just a fun v-stitch with cute panda ears. And you could do this in any colors for any bear. And you could do this section of v-stitches in any colors, maybe the favorite colors of the person you're making the hat for.